What's up guys? Welcome back to Dude Ranch DIY. I'm Chris, and in case you couldn't tell, you're back at the Cheesecake Factory. We're in the hot tub area. We're trying to get some things done while Jake is out gallivanting in Colorado. Uh, as you can see, still haven't fixed the hot tub from when we messed it up with the core midi, but let me show you what's going on. All right, so out here, if you don't remember from the last video, that we did back here I'm trying to extend this bluestone patio all the way to the end of this fence line here so while jake's away i stole his truck and trailer and i went and i got a little bit more material about four tons of uh three quarter inch process and we're going to spread that out nice and even over here i'm going to use the tractor that i also stole and uh, try to get it a little bit level. Later on, I'll come back with uh, just a couple two by fours and make it all real nice and level and a plate compactor, packed it down. As you can see, I got the Kubota L3901 with the ever faithful Wicked Grapple. And I probably should have started filming earlier. Uh, another video that we did, we took down a whole bunch of trees over here and cleaned up this area with all the wood chips. And Jake put a nice big pile of crap right back here. And obviously it's gone. Cause where to go? Right in the bed of the truck. My dad is uh, gonna be able to take a ride to the dump tomorrow and get rid of it for me. And as you can see, it was quite a bit of stuff. Fit her all in one load though, which is always a pleasure. Uh, so before I switch over to the bucket and regrade this little pile I made, we're gonna go fishing in the back with the grapple and try to get some wood out of there for me. All right, so we took a ride on down through my wood yard, into my backyard, behind my chiglu, and over here, we got woods. I had a big leader drop out of this tulip tree here probably the first summer I was around and uh, you see it laying right here in the back and it bothers me so I'm gonna take it out while I got a little bit of muscle power let's take a look
all better. As you can see, I am no professional. Jake is definitely more handy at this than I. Uh, it was definitely fun to steal his tractor, or, you know, at least he was so gracious enough to allow me to use it while he was away, uh, along with, you know, those who are keeping track, the farm boss, the bucket, the wicked grapple, the tractor, the trailer, the truck, you know, pretty much everything that I did today, I used all of his stuff, you know, minus the rope. Um, but yeah, as you can see, four tons of three quarter inch process, roughly spread. I'm gonna put in some two by fours going along the two sides and try to grade them out with a long straight piece of metal or another two by four of some kind. Uh, just to get this nice and level, I'll have somebody come in with a plate compactor, a friend, the guy that we rent the, the chipper from, I'm sure he's got one. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be for another day. For now, that's it. If you like this stuff, hit that subscribe button, give us a big thumbs up, and make sure you rip me apart in the comments below because I know I was awful with this spreading. Um, and thankfully, I didn't take out my fence too bad, but it was leaning a little bit from the previous uh, windstorm, and I kind of straightened it out. So it was more of a win than a loss. Anyway, thanks again for watching. This is Dude Ranch DIY. I'm Chris. We'll see you next time.